I just wanted to take a moment to show off my amazing socks. Okay, so now you're officially a part of the marching band. So exciting. And you get these doc books. And it's really confusing. You're like, what are doc books? I don't even know how to read these. And McKenna's going to explain all that to you. But doc books are super important. They're like your textbook for the class. You always need them. If you don't have them, we have to run. And it's not very fun. So always bring your doc books. They're like your best friend in marching band. Okay, so before we can go into how to read your doc book and how to translate it onto the field, we need to know what we're looking for on the field. We're obviously going to have our football field. 50 yard line is in the middle, the drum major podium, and then the press box. From the drum major's point of view, this will be the left side, and this will be the right side. Left side is side one, right side is side two. These little marks are called hash marks. It's a guideline for where we are on the field. The other guideline we have is the yard line markers. It'll go 50, 45, and so on. It'll go down by fives on each side. All right, so. There are actually several pages to your dot book, so you'll have one for each movement, depending on how many movements we have. The one that we're going to be looking at today is from Act 2. So this is just where your movement is. And then on the other side, it says what performer you are. I am M2, which means mellophone 2. It means that I am the second mellophone in the drill. The letters are going to change for each instrument, so just keep your eye out for that. And each person will have a different number going with their letter. The four things that we have to read on our dot book, the set, move, side, and hash. The set tells you where we are in the drill, and it also coordinates with your music so we know what we're playing during that time. We'll mark our music during class so you know what set goes with what the drill. The next thing is the move, move eight. What this means is you're gonna have to take eight steps to get to this set. It doesn't matter if you have really big distance or a really small distance. You're going to have to take exactly eight steps. The next two parts of your dot book actually tell you where you are on the field. The first thing is side. So if we're going to read this, side one, four steps inside the 40 yard line. That means that you're going to go to side one, you're going to find the 40 yard line, and you're going to take four steps towards the 50. When we say inside, that means we're going towards the 50, and when we say outside, that means we're going to go away from the 50. The next thing that tells you where you are is hash. Right here, 10 steps in front of front hash. So what that means is we're going to go to our front hash, this bottom one here, and we're going to take 10 steps from the hash to your dot. That's where your dot is. It's kind of like a grid. So like if you're playing Battleship, so you're going to find your side and where you are this way, and then you're going to find where you are this way, and that's going to be where your dot is. Let's go on the field and see how it works. Erica, I can't find my dot. Can you help me? Of course. Which dot are you on? Side 14? Okay. So it says side 1. Perfect. You're on the left side of the field. Left side of the 50. Good job. Um, four steps inside the 40. Alright, so the 40 is right here. Oh. You're going to be four steps. and like be more precise on where we are on the field. We also use it with our dot books as shown earlier. The green dots are very useful for us, uh, but these green dots will not be on the Stoker football field. So yes, they're great to use like during band camp, but after that, like, don't look at the floor. Like you need to be able to use the people around you to help tell where you are. But other than that, like at band camp, these are great to use. They're very helpful, very useful. That's why we painted them on here.